Hey, it's Brock here from Rock Hill Farms. Today we're gonna move a bunch of topsoil, try to finish getting this side of the Quonset hut all graded out. I think I'll just skip the long intro and tell the story as we go. So I'm gonna jump in the machine and get started. I've got a lot of dirt to move on this project, but before I really get into it, I've got to share a really funny clip of my grandson trying to give me directions on the walkie-talkies. He's five years old, by the way. Are you there? I'm coming back. You're coming outside? I am. Roger, Dodger. I'll see you on the flip-flop. Okay, Papa. Roger! Are you okay? Doing good out here, short stack. Roger! Roger! He says Roger a lot. Are you outside, Roger? He must think my name's Roger because I said it first. Yeah, are you coming out here? Thank you, Daddy. <laughs> Best $30 I ever spent. So my first inclination was to drive lengthways parallel to the building and just sprinkle out material as I went, but I quickly realized after one pass that that wasn't going to take off the incline. I would have just raised the ground level but maintained that incline. So I'm piling more material than needed up against the wall so that when I flatten it out and it pushes away, maybe it'll level out. And we've got about 14 inches probably that we're trying to raise the ground level. So I did it in two lifts so that it could be packed in about every six inches like they recommend. A lot of you might have been looking forward to an update on the stump project, but it's actually still smoking and I wanted to let it cool off another day before working on that. The only update I'm going to give you today is that it did not completely get rid of the stump and I have a new plan for what I'm going to do next. I also wanted to talk real quick about the giveaway that I'm doing. Artillion has donated some products for me to give away on the channel to celebrate the fact I reached 20,000 subscribers pretty soon. And 
I'm really excited about that. I think it's a nice high value product and someone is going to be glad to receive it. But it's kind of being ruined by scammers. So always be careful and just be aware that myself or most other reputable content creators are never going to message you and ask for personal information or to try to get you to pay for anything. I spent most of the day today blocking people and deleting comments and reporting spam because a lot of these spam accounts are using my logo to try to get per people's personal information. YouTube recently released a video talking about how they're trying to address spam, but just be cautious because I would never contact you in that way. When I give a product away on the channel, I announce the date that the giveaway will happen, in this case August 15th, so anything you see before then is fake. And I also announce the winner in a video so that you know and everyone knows exactly what happened with the giveaway. When I made the decision that I was going to work on this today, the first thing I did was move the dump trailer down by the pond because it's about 300 feet probably between the Quonset hut and the pond and that's a long way to drive one scoop at a time with the skid loader. And I parked it down there and then I really started thinking about the process I was going to use to move all of this dirt and it would have required me taking the tractor down by the pond and loading the dirt with the tractor and that's a little bit slower than loading it with the skid loader but not a big deal then it would have required me to find a flat spot to dump the material and then I would have to scoop it all up again and it's kinda awkward to turn around up anywhere up here where I'd want to put the dirt and I can't dump the trailer on this side slope. So after giving it a lot of thought, I decided it probably would be better, even though it uses more fuel and puts wear on the tracks, I just felt like I would prefer to go get it one scoop at a time. And it worked out fine. If you were really skilled at this type of work, you probably could have done this entire project in one day, where I've stretched it out into three days and three videos to take what was a really steep rocky slope and turn it into an area where I can plant grass. And I'm okay with that because I get kind of to a stopping point where I'm not sure the best way to do it, then I step back and give it some more thought and that's kind of how I figure out the best way to do things. At this point right here I was really debating if it was worth it to go get the tractor and cut this swale deeper but I feel like I have just enough the way I've done it and it doesn't need to be deeper so that's why I left it the way it is and didn't get the box plate. All right, guys, you tell me. I know for a fact, it's always hard to see angles on here. I know for a fact, it's 
it's probably six inches higher at the wall than it is right here. I don't have this clearly defined swale, but I don't know that I want one. I just want the water to get to here and then run towards me. And I think it's gonna do that. Would have been nice to get a little bit thicker layer of topsoil on the top part. But by the time, if I added six inches of topsoil, my, my cutout would be gone. So I'm gonna roll with it the way it is. I'm gonna go see, I've gotta go get carpet and plywood for the shop. I'm gonna see if I can pick up some grass seed and some straw and come back and finish this up. Well guys, I just said that I was going to try to get this seeded tonight before it got dark, but that didn't happen. They didn't have a loader at the lumber yard and it just, it took forever to get there and back. But the hard part's done. The grading is done. I think this is gonna drain. I'll throw the grass seed and the straw out tomorrow and check another one off the list. I appreciate you taking time to watch the video. I'll put links on the screen to a couple more of our videos and I'll see you next time.